B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. This is B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia. I am Anthony Galliano, your host. Today, I am talking to Simon Perkins, the CEO of Cellcard. Cellcard just refinanced its debt. One of the biggest transactions in Cambodia in 2011 was when Royal Group bought out its partner, Millicom, which owns 61.5% of Cellcard. And to do that, there was a syndicated loan, which was led and arranged by Standard Bank and ANZ Bank Singapore. That loan was eventually taken over by the Bank of China. And now, post sell cards listing, they have been approached by banks to take over that loan. So I'm going to let Simon Perkins, the CEO of Cellcard, post listing, which has given you much more financial credibility, yeah. to talk about what post listing meant and how that then led to the catalyst of the debt refinancing. Sure, thank you. Thanks again for giving us the chance mm -hmm. to, to talk to you. Yeah, the refinancing is a massive milestone um, for us. And as, as you've said, you know, it goes back into uh, 12 years ago history to secure that financing to do the buyout. Um, massive loan, which we've been steadily paying down over the years. But yeah, the, the catalyst for the change was the listing when we listed cell card the profile um was 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 lifted the whole transparency process through the listing attracted people to the business and we were approached by um, maybank um, to potentially take over the bank of china loan and it was a very fast transaction from start to finish less than three months um, they took over the bank of china loan and uh, the what was remaining of it and um, we were able to refinance it at a, at a much um, better cost. Can you talk a little bit more about the benefits of listing? Transparency. So all of our financial results are reported to the SEX. They're audited you know, by one of the big five auditing firms, Pricewaterhouse, in our case. Quarterly reports published into the CSX. All of that transparency is there. And I think it, you know, that it gives people confidence about the credibility and uh, reliability of the business. So it's that whole transparency and also the discipline, right? You know, we have to gear up our organization to be able to report all of those figures, make sure that everything's right when we, when we publish numbers. I would like to talk about now the savings that you're gaining from this, mm -hmm. which uh, will now help you have more uh, capacity for investment into your business. Yeah. So how do you intend to spend those savings we've already allocated it <laughs> <laughs> and how does it benefit the cell card customer yeah so um it goes it's plowed back into the network into the infrastructure basically so you know we've already allocated the capital investment plan for 2023 we're halfway through that now we've just finished looking doing the capital investment plan for 2024 you know and it's all about improving the performance of the network increasing the coverage increasing the number of sites Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. This has been B2B Cambodia, the portal for business news in Cambodia.